Yo, what's up, baby? Bye. How you doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Funny as shit, man. You funny as shit. But um, yeah, I go by the name of Charismatic. I'm gonna drop some poetry on y'all real quick. Mm. Name of this first piece is called True Knowledge. We're taught to good and good education, though nobody is told specifically where to do so. Some people say it's not what you know, it's who you know. Everyone has their own opinion of this. In the end, our goal is common with success and bliss. Often it is heard that a diploma is just a piece of paper. The wildly that you look down at me is if you're the hater. Be proud of your accomplishments and what you should. You went to college and majored in business communication. I also went to school and studied hard, though I majored in determination. We may have attended some of the same courses, mostly on time, though suddenly late. Preparation done early to get ahead of the rest straight out the starting gate. Given the opportunity, which would you choose? Books, marks, or street smarts? Is one a born winner or the other born to lose? Think about it carefully and thoroughly, then enlighten me on your view. Place yourself in the other person's shoes, how well would you do? These are my thoughts on true knowledge, but what does true knowledge mean to you? The second piece is entitled, Paint It With A Pen. Distant thoughts are just a memory. Through these words and phrases, I expose my identity. For all who haven't a clue, I use powerful imagery in this poetry. Either in by way of a metaphor or maybe a catchphrase, each line's intention is to set your mind ablaze. Like a painter, I can show you different ways that I create, but not with a brush, but with a pen and paper as I illustrate. I am my own favorite poet, but there have been many others that have come before me which I try not to imitate. There are several that I respect and admire. It is believed that good things come to those who wait. I'll get there through prayer, patience, and the ability to concentrate. I'll realize that I have a God-given gift that lights my poetic fire so that one day my views will shed true skill and inspire. Eventually this poem will be famous, but it isn't the end. It's the period of my pictures painted with a pen. This third piece is entitled, Money Comes First. Right, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Money comes first. <laughs> is money truly the root of all evil? Some would say yes, as it's embedded in the dreams of most people. Many wish that they could grow on trees, but in this world you have to work hard to get these, such as these. Then you have others that believe if you got it, I want it, I'm going to take it, no matter the consequence. In this day and age, money comes first and makes perfect sense. Everybody got their hands out, reaching for a handout. And what's that about? Nothing in life is free, not even charity. Everything has its price, even to us as individuals. They constantly lust on their residuals. The rich get richer investing in stocks and bonds as they plot in the poor, taking them out the game like chess pawns. We're living in the last days before laying in the hearse. Can't let another day pass by and I realize that money comes first. This fourth piece is entitled One Hot Night in My Hand. You gotta watch and the boy is slick. Leave your girl alone and when you come back, you find her mouth is full of cum from sucking his dick. And if that ain't nice, that's just one hell of a trick. And I ain't talking about what he did, I'm talking about the bitch. Dummies are easy like flipping on and off a light switch. I attract girls like magnets, breaking their hearts not into pieces, but fragments. Now her dreams are shattered and her thoughts are scattered. I told her it wasn't good of relationships, but she still thought she could trap you for fat ass and wet lips. <laughs> no, shorty, I ain't your average, but damn if I was smaller at those thick thighs and hips. Remember, you take me back to the night and you bent over, touching your toes with your fingertips. I ain't going front. That pussy was good as a motherfucker. Still should have slipped on that latex rubber. Now I'm draped under these hospital covers, surrounded by friends and family. Never would have thought I'd catch your from there. 
doing our night in Miami. I love you a lot. Judging by your black eyes and bruises, you think I forgot. Often you try to leave me, time and time again. Like I said before, I love you to the end. You may be asking yourself, is it you or is it me? Weeks and weeks of anger management, abuse did. Where did this monster come from? An alter ego, a tragic childhood event. Either way, but I'm giving in love and that's everything. Are you happy now? They are upset and I'm sorry. I can't even look at myself in the mirror. Without 30, 16 shot glasses and three fifths, they got you found in love with, could he right by you? It's frustrating. These demons inside I'm trying to harbor. You say I need an intervention to end all this horror. Oh, I got a solution, a real problem solver. So I went to the closet and grabbed my six shooter revolver. Here it goes, one in the chamber. The way I've been treating you makes me sick. When I count to three, I'm pulling the trigger quick. Click, click, I'm sorry. 